make the good times last. Okay, so this is fun with Fungi. The red one is nice to beat you. And you've got crazy curry tofu. Wicked cool names. I know. I'm like an inventor. But maybe giving these to your friends to test isn't such a good idea. Why? They love food. They're usually broke, so they're not that picky. Cool. And so that's how I got the idea to put the beets through the blender. Have you ever seen worms in a blender? Does she so ever stop talking? Gross. Never. So come on, guys, give it a try. It's free, dudes. Hey, what's that? <laughs> what? Nothing, I, I thought I saw the Easter Bunny. <gasps> ah! What are you doing, Wyish? Hiding from Serena. Check this out. Three-pointer. Ah! You've got to work on your free throws. That is just so sad. Look at the bright side. At least it wasn't a chili bowl, dude. Wyatt Man, do the words shred of dignity mean anything to you? Talk to me when someone rips your heart out and steps on it. Ouch. You might want to consider getting off the bitter train, Wyatt. Nikki's right. All this pent up anger's not good for you. Totally. Hey, have you had a coffee yet? No. And why not? Because Serena was at Grind Me with Charmaine and I couldn't go in. I'll go to Grind Me with you, Wyatt. You need your coffee. Maybe I should just join a monastery. Then I wouldn't have to worry about girls. Okay, now you're talking freaky talk. I'm off to work. Let's go. This is cool, man. I feel like a doctor. Do I get a stethoscope? No. Now, you'll have to take the pharmaceutical oath. Repeat after me. I promise to keep all customer information confidential. Right, that's cool. I can dig it. Okay, say it. Say it. Okay, I promise to keep all customer information confidential. Good, good. I'll be in the back. Can I help you? No, I mean, maybe. Don't be shy. Discretion is my middle name. I've taken the oath. I know, but I think, what, what do you think I'm a what, what? Hey, Mr. Goldstein, what do we give people for really serious constipation? <gasps> Are you sure you don't want to just come up with me? Serena's not here. Yeah, but Charmaine's her best friend. She probably hates me now, too. She does not hate you. They're all sisters. Hey, girl, what's up? Hey, can I get a double tall cappuccino, extra hot, extra foam? Double tall cappuccino, extra hot, extra foam, huh? That sounds a lot like someone else's usual order. Coming right up. You know, he can come in and order it himself. I won't bite. That's what I told him. He's really taking this whole breakup thing hard. Thanks. You can order from her from now on. Really? Yes. See, I told you she wouldn't hold it against you. <gasps> she stiffed me on the foam. She what? The foam. I asked for extra foam and she gave me less than normal. So, okay, maybe she just forgot. Or maybe there was a foam shortage. There was no foam shortage. This is payback for yelling at Serena. Uh, she's getting back at you with foam? I need another cappuccino so I can do a foam comparison test. Well, don't look at me. I've got to get back to work. Hmm. Okay, Wyatt's really losing it. Yeah, yesterday he went postal on the pizza guy. Our new hair color is so fetch! So glad we went brunette. Yeah. Eee! Don't lean too close. We can't let Coach Halder know we're dating, remember? 50 push-ups? Right, so how's your friend Wyatt? We're trying to get him to cheer up, but nothing's working. Wow, that's a real... <gasps> bummer. 
hello over here. What? what? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh what, what was I saying? What was that? Uh, what, what was what? That. You like her. No, I don't. I, I mean, she's cute, but... Oh, what? Because she's blonde? No, I, I mean, I, I don't know. So you don't like blondes? No, no, no. I like blondes. So you were flirting with her? No, I... Help. Oh! Ah! So the guy's obsessing over foam. Wow. I thought I had issues. Hey, if you're not gonna drink that, I'll have it. Can I take a break? I don't know, man. We're pretty busy here. All right, fine. Don't ever say I'm not a great boss, Kay. Hey, that were alive, you could have killed it. Think you can, you know, keep an eye on him? Sure. If he makes a run for it, I'll just give him the sleeper grip. to run off like that. Sorry. I'm sorry, sir. He's really into measuring things. 25% foam. I knew it. She only gave me 12%. Okay, sit down. So I think I know what your problem is. I have a problem? Yeah. You need a healthy way to cleanse your aura without bugging the crap out of all your friends. Okay. What do you think I should do? Hey, what's up? It's the hottest spoken word poetry place around, and I scored you a spot in the lineup. Oh, no. No way. Welcome to Express of Yourself Night at Grimey. <gasps> our first poet is one of our regulars, Coach Halder. <clears throat> Riding the bench! Hard, cold wood under my back. Feels kind of like paper after a while. Or just a hard desk chair. I didn't make the cut. I'm not good enough. Put me in, coach. Defense! Defense! De Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is a brand new poet. Let's have some snaps for Wyatt Williams. I don't think I'm ready for this. It'll be good for you. You need to get it out. Uh -huh. Just think about Serena. Hot record store girl with the fly jeans? You suck! I hate your stupid jeans, and I hate your new boyfriend's stupid hair. You made me look like a jerk, you ditched me, left me, and you suck! I wish I'd never met you! Ah! All right. Wow, it's like you just threw up your soul, and we all got to see it. Why do I feel so, so light? You just let all of your getting dumped baggage out of your system. I have to do this again. But don't tell the gang. They just laugh. OK, pinky swear. And brought me a bag full of goldfish. But then this other guy cut them all in half except for one. And I named him Left Fin because he had his right fin cut off. And he just swam in these big circles. Oh, hey, Wyatt. Hey, guys. Don't you just love Fridays? Uh, are you okay? Totally. Sorry, Star. Finish your story. Okay. So I was having this party. Oh, no. Look at the time. Aren't you guys going to be late for work? All right. Got to go. Bye. Come by later. I think I figured out a really good new meal. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. Later. Okay. What is with Wyatt? He actually sounded happy. Exactly. Something's up. You don't just go from miserable to happy. Maybe he found a new girlfriend. Well, I'm gonna find out. Who's up for some undercover action? I'm in. Uh, I would, but I've gotta get back to blonde and blonder, who are now brunettes for some reason. <sighs> I guess I should really go to work. Okay, it's you and me, Caitlin. Nikki, 
watch the store. Nikki, fold <gasps> the shirts. Ugh, why do I always feel like the ugly stepsister? Oh, can I answer this one? Oh, bite me. Hey, Coach Halder. Just wanted to say good job last night. Angry jilted guy! You gonna be there tonight? Got a little ditty about golf I was going to perform. Yeah, I think I will. What could Wyatt and Coach Halder possibly have to talk about? Jen, is that you? <gasps> um, uh, hi. What did you do to your hair? Nothing. Why, do you like it? I love it, but you didn't have to go blonde just for me. I didn't, I mean... Come on! Huh? Uh, oh, gotta run. Bye. Hello. <laughs> Yo. Where was the crossing guard when I was crossing Lover's Lane? Where was the guard when I got mowed down by a sedan named Woman? You should have honked your horn, Woman! I didn't see you coming, Woman! Bam! <gasps> Wyatt! Aww. Wyatt is doing poetry? This I have got to see. Jonesy, you can't say anything. There's obviously a reason Wyatt didn't want us to find out. Find out about what? He's reciting poetry at Grind Me! <laughs> oh man, none of you were supposed to know about this. I didn't tell anyone. It's my fault. I just wanted to know what was going on with you. And you didn't trust me to tell you when I was ready? Hey guys, tell her what? That Wyatt's in a slam poetry contest tomorrow. Oops. All right, so you all know. Let the ribbing begin. Forsooth, where doth I start? Can we come watch? No, please guys, just let me do this on my own. But we want to support you. You wouldn't be into it. How do you know? <sighs> it's just that it kind of takes a certain amount of maturity. So we're not grown up enough? We can be mature. I'm not really mature, but I kind of like to see it. Oh, don't bother, Jude. Obviously, Wyatt here thinks it's way above us. No, I just don't think you can handle it, that's all. Oh, that's it! I don't even want to go to this stupid poetry thing, but I'm going, baby! Fine. It's at seven sharp. Do you think you guys can watch without laughing? Are you kidding? This is gonna be hilarious. Jonesy, you can't laugh, no matter how funny it is. Jen's right. Now, who has a good technique for not laughing? Okay, I clench my teeth together really tight, stare straight ahead, and count to ten. I just think of dead kittens. Ew! Ew. What? You're not laughing, are you? <laughs> hey, what smells so good? My newest creation! Who wants one? <clears throat> so what were those, anyway? Colon blow bean burritos. Yeah, you might want to consider renaming them. Beans are really good for your digestive tract. Oh no, beans make me fart. <laughs> Not me. Thanks to all those step classes I do, I've got the butt muscles of Barishnikov. Ugh, these are so itchy. Why don't you take yours off? I can't. I made this big fuss about how Charlie was staring at blondes, and now he thinks I dyed my hair for him. And he, okay, uh, can we get back on topic here? Wyatt, poetry, no laughing. Right, pretend we're listening to poetry. <laughs> Jonesy! You all look like constipated librarians. Well, we have to get it under control before tonight or we're dead. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, do not make fun of anyone until we're at least 30 steps away. I don't care if you have to bite your tongues off. Do it for Wyatt! What is cool? That elusive, evasive, elastic entity. Fluid like the water, man. The water in the pool, man. I'd dive in, but I'd probably drown because my dad never taught me to swim, man. I leave you here with this. Who cares? Shock and awe, an ode to jungle combat. You think you can escape from reality. 
I am. Reality. Do what you're told, soldier, or the machine breaks down. We break down. It all goes downhill, soldier. Run, dank, dark, swampy prison. Beer is good. Smell that beer. Now, run, soldier, run. That didn't make me want to laugh. Okay, uh, next up is Julie performing My Womanhood. I am woman! <laughs> I prowl through the warm night, hunting the taste of your lips on my lips. Unleash my inner woman. Make me her. <laughs> Powerful stuff. Now please welcome our newest regular, Wyatt. <clears throat> Who said you could dump me like that? Who said you could treat me like that? Who do you think I am, woman? Now the mall no longer feels like home. Now your friend gives me half as much foam. Someday you'll pay the price. Someday your life won't seem so nice cause you're a taker, woman. You're a nasty taker! <laughs> Wyatt, we are so sorry. Yeah, it was all Caitlin's fault. Yeah, what happened, Barishnikov? I thought you had buns of steel. Don't blame her. It was the bean burritos. Are you all through? Good. I don't want to hear anything any of you has to say. Uh-oh. You promised you wouldn't laugh. I tried, but I couldn't hold it in. I'm never going to be able to face those people again. I don't think it's your face they're worried about. It's all my fault. They said you couldn't put five different beans in one burrito, but I had to go and, like, push the envelope. Whoa there, bean girl. There might be a way for you to make it up to us. And to Wyatt. Hmm. Hello? We're in here. Hey, guys, what's up? We couldn't leave the store. I think you're taking this I love khaki barn thing a little too far. No, I mean, we can't leave. It's too humiliating. Don't look at us. <laughs> We're hideous. <laughs> oh, wow. We must have overprocessed. You have to help us fix this. We'll do anything you want. Anything? OK. I want the whole rest of the weekend off, paid. Done. And I want you to say I'm the most stylish girl you've ever met. Fine. OK, OK. You're, You're the, the most, most stylish, stylish girl, girl we've, we've ever met. met. And you wish you were me. And, and we, we wish, wish we, we were you. you. But sadly, we're just a couple of fashion sheep. But, but sadly, sadly, we're just, just a couple, couple of fashion sheep. sheep. All right, then. Hang tight. <laughs> Wicked wigs, Nikki. Thanks. We look so fat! Okay, okay, poem for Wyatt. Let's focus. Right. Hey, Jen, what's with making your boyfriend pick up your chick stuff at the pharmacy? What are you talking about? Fashionable Woman magazine and a box of tampons? Talk about turning them into a wuss. But I didn't... Jen, you're a brunette again. I suppose you're disappointed? No, I... At least I didn't cheat on you. I didn't cheat on you. Oh, yeah? Who were the Fashionable Woman magazine and tampons for, huh? My mom. Ew. Dude, that's even worse than your girlfriend making you get them. You told her what I bought? I thought you were cheating on her. So you're not cheating on me? No. Do you always jump to conclusions? Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. So, are we okay then? No, Jonesy. You broke the pharmaceutical oath. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready? All set. Okay, you guys go get Wyatt. We'll be waiting at the rendezvous. We have a sick surprise for you. And if you don't come with us right now, I'm gonna kick your butt. 
Oh, for the love of Pamela Anderson, will you just get this over with? Wyatt, you forgive them. You guys, whatever. You seem sorry. Good enough for me. Everyone copacetic? Yes. 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 Good. Now, buzz off. We're sorry we laughed. Caitlin's butt just had to blast. If you take us back as your friends, we'll, we'll never, never come, come to one of your poetry readings again. again. Oh. <laughs> nice try, guys. That was terrible, but I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. So you forgive us? Yeah, sure. Oh. Hey, you're the fart girl! <laughs> 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 <laughs>